So my name is Anthony Martinez. I am the student body president at the University of Nevada, Reno. I'm currently a triple major here, studying political science, international affairs, and Spanish. I was on the Ellen Show. Um, I was asked to prom in front of our entire high school by my best friend at the time. He was straight, and I'm openly gay. Yeah, so being featured was, I was like 17. Um, it was scary. Um, <laughs> people were calling my cell phone, like they got a hold of my cell phone number, so we had CNN call us, we had all these different people. Um, I would get like love letters from people. They were like, I love you, you're perfect. People were offering to buy us stuff. It was just really overwhelming when you're 17, when people look at you like differently, you know, they recognize you in public. And it's something I've gotten used to now. That 15 minutes of fame just wasn't me. <laughs> Um, I, re I really liked meeting individuals, but I just love public office more and I love working for people. It's definitely changed. So in high school, I was a student body president of Desert Oasis High School in Las Vegas, Nevada. And then uh, I was also the appointed student member to the Nevada State Board of Education. So I worked under Governor Sandoval. I'm um, then Elaine Wynn. I don't know if you know her. She is the president of the uh, Nevada State Board of Education for K-12. through So I worked under her which was a really eye-opening experience to what I wanted to do in college. And then I came to college, joined student government, was involved, and then that's when I started meeting senators and stuff and becoming really involved. So I think that's what my role has transitioned to a lot is representing the Nevada, no, Nevada students as best as I can. Mm -hmm. um, I usually try and post about the university and like different things I'm doing as president in higher education. Um, so I, I've definitely used it as a personal thing in the sense that like this is my life. like this office, this job, what I'm currently doing, like it's something I'm involved in, something I'm very passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want people to know about that. I definitely think it's given me a platform for a lot of things because students will see me doing something and then they'll come and they're like, I came to this event because I saw it on your social media account. The thing that I think it's taken away from me is kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, first person interactions. Mm -hmm. um, like I, I will hear rumors about myself the, and then it's hard to like build a relationship and then people then translated to like you're successful because you were on Ellen and like mm -hmm. you built a platform for yourself early on whereas it's harder for a lot of other people um, which is true in a lot of senses like I, I did gain that you know kind of public eye for a lot of people but for interacting with people I do like Instagram I think Instagram is really fun because when I'm trying to post stuff for student government I'm like oh it's good if I post at this time because this is when students will probably see it. I think that's really what matters at the end of the day is kind of like being happy with where your social media platform is at. I say most definitely just be yourself, um, be your professional self I should say. Because at the end of the day like if I didn't have the followers that I like currently have like they like my stuff but the people that comment on my Instagram are my friends and like those are the that's like the best part. That's the way I took the approach is interacting with people. Um, not like only online, but you know, in person as well and being active in your community. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great way to kind of like build a platform and that's the way I've seen a lot of other people kind of build their platforms is being involved in their community and then translating that to social media.